Hello guys and happy Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Um, so I am filming this at literally 9.37 because this is the first chance I've been able to sit down and talk about other than briefly on TikTok earlier. But hi, hello, my name is Alex. Welcome to the video. I go by Monorail Princess here on YouTube and all my social media accounts. You can also find me on Instagram and on TikTok. Come join the family on there. We are at 29,500 now. So awesome. Um, moving on from there. My thoughts on the trailer, unfiltered. If you haven't watched it, stop what you're doing right now and go watch it because I don't want to give anything away. We'll give them two seconds. One, two, and gloves are off. Oh my God, you guys, I am so pumped. Where do I even start? Um, okay, I think it's really interesting uh, that Peter goes to Steven to kind of fix things. A lot of people are saying it's out of character. Some people are not. People are very like 50-50 on whether or not they think that's like normal Stephen Strange behavior for him to help Peter out. I'm not really too like worried about that. I'm more excited. Um, it is a call out to a comic and I cannot think of the name right now that is very much hated. I will insert it below because I have heard it on multiple accounts today. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to break everything down as best as I could and try to incorporate as many things that we caught. Oh, when I say we, I mean myself and other content creators that I follow. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, so let's see. Uh, okay, so obviously that, that's one of them. Um, the other fact is the matter is that everyone is going to forget him. That means that there's no help from the Avengers. Tony doesn't know him. Happy doesn't know him. Literally no one knows he's Spider-Man, which to me is scary in and of itself just because that's, wow, that's like a lot of people. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know how that's going to play out. Obviously we see Strange casting the spell and Peter's like worried. Um, yeah, that was insane. I don't know that it's like solely Steven that's responsible for the breakdown of the multiverse. I mean, obviously with Sylvie and Loki and Wanda, what's really going on here? I guess we'll have to wait and see till December, but we'll have to see who actually is the true breaker of an opening of the multiverse. Going on from there, um, there is a nod where there is a gentleman with his sleeves rolled up that they do not show his face when Peter is in the police station. And lots of people um, are claiming, I'm gonna insert stuff as I can. I think I'm gonna try to insert it over here, over here. So wherever I decide to put it, but yes. So everybody thinks it's Daredevil. And I, let me tell you guys, if it is Matt Murdock, oh, Charlie Cox, I'm a huge, huge Defenders fan, Daredevil. I watched all of them, Punisher, and oh my God, my heart would literally implode if it is Matt Murdock. I'm hoping it is. Um, there also is a call out to a sign where it shows Peter with like the devil's horns, and so they're also thinking that. There's also a call out that it might be a Mephisto, but we talked about Mephisto with WandaVision and that ended up not going anywhere. So I'm placing my bets as Matt Murdock because that's what I would like to see, but we'll have to see. Um, it'd also be good because if you guys didn't know, they're really good friends in the comic, and I just, I would love that. That would be like the crossover of the century for me. Um, yeah, moving on from there, there's a lot of different nods. There's a little piece of what everybody thinks is Sandman. There's Peter below in a sewer system where it looks like it could possibly be Lizard. So there's that. That's insane. Um, then moving on from there, there's also the fact that we literally see, oh my God, on the bridge, we see the Green Goblin bomb. You guys, Green Goblin is my hands down my favorite Spider-Man villain. And the fact that that was in there, I will preface it with this though. If it is not Willem Dafoe, I will, I will riot. I literally need it to be him. He is my favorite. I love Green Goblin. He's my favorite villain. Then we also have Alfred Molina, who is coming back as Doc Ock, as he is in the trailer. So here's where there's two parts comes in. Number one, obviously that he's in it. Heck yes. I mean, he confirmed months ago that he was in it. Don't really know if he was supposed to or not, but he did anyway. And that was awesome. So can we just talk about that for a brief second? And then moving on from there, uh, the fact that literally he says, hello, Peter. I 
I'm calling it and everybody else is too that he's talking to Toby because it makes the most sense. And at this point, though they didn't show us, at this point all of these Spider-Men have shown up, so obviously Andrew and Toby, to help MCU Peter. Um, so that's what everybody's calling, I'm hoping. Um, but with all of the little tidbits that they have in there, there's also a nod to Electro in there. It is probably most, I'm saying most likely because I don't actually know. We haven't watched it, obviously. Um, people are saying Sinister Six vibes. Obviously, this com the comic with all six villains in it. I don't know. That would be awesome. I would absolutely love it if that's the case. Um, I can't wait to see how Steven plays a role in this film as well. But obviously, the big call out is all of the Spider Men being in it. Oh, you guys, I'm just like over the moon. It was everything I wanted it to be. I also saw on Cosmic Wonder, he posted that it has actually, that trailer has broke records. It has gone beyond Endgame, which is like mind blown. But to be honest, as big of a Spider-Man fan as I am, am I more excited about it than Endgame? I don't know. Am I excited to finally relive that Endgame hype again? Heck yeah, baby, because that has been a long time coming. And with COVID and everything going on, I just am praying that it goes super smooth and that's what we get. I'm so, so excited. I cannot, cannot wait. Um, other accounts to check out if you want um, some even cooler Easter breakdowns. Straw Hat Goofy has a great one. Tay Miller has one. Uh, Cosmic Wonder. Uh, Film Stocked. That's uh, if you follow Cameron Silas, that is her boyfriend's channel, and she is on there as well. They are great accounts to follow. Uh, Jay Stoops. I mean, literally, I could name. I'm going to try to link all of them below. Um, Please remind me if I forget to include them in here, I will definitely link them below. Please go check out uh, there. Taya did a reaction hers. I was, I wanted to you guys so bad. I was literally in the middle of cleaning, I, not not like being gross or anything, but I was literally in the middle of cleaning cat litter when it dropped last night. And I had been like waiting all day for it. And then I was like, oh my God, went and watched it and was just literally too excited. I filmed like a brief, like, I don't know, like minute, video of me like literally after I had finished doing everything of like reacting to it but not like a true reaction so when the next trailer comes out that's what I'm hoping to do but I am so so excited you guys like you have no idea I think I've said that like 80 million times but Tobey Maguire was what started this journey for me back when I was like 9 slash 10 when I came out and I have loved Spider-Man ever since then and so this movie is just yeah, it's life for me. But I also want to say that this does not mean that you should not be just as excited for this film as you are Shang-Chi, which comes out in September, which is literally crazy, you guys. We do not have that much longer to wait. I don't know if I will go and see it um, actually in theaters. I am going to do a reaction to it. I didn't get to for Black Widow. I'm going to do a reaction to um, my before and after thoughts on the movie and what I think. Um, but yeah, either that or I'll pay like the, I think they're, if they're doing it on Disney Plus, I'll pay like the 30 to watch it like right away because please go hype that movie up because that movie deserves all the love and attention just as much as Spider-Man does. So please, please watch that. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Tomorrow's the new episode of What If. I just dropped, I know I'm like super late, uh, the What If breakdown number two on my channel just now. So if you like that, if you uh, watch that as well, go ahead and uh, go go look but I am so excited for tomorrow's what if episode but you're getting a double upload tonight but I wanted to post it because obviously I'm a huge spider-man fan spider-man means a lot to me um, as a kid growing up he kind of always reminds me he's always on my lock screen on my phone um, yeah I'm a huge spider-man fan but I'm so excited you guys I also am, like excited to see how they tie in Jameson because technically in MCU Peter's world he's a digital one but obviously in um, Toby's world it's like a full-time newspaper but I'm really excited to see all of them I hope they're all in it I have literally been in my spider-man feels all day it is so good to be back you guys I am so pumped for what comes next with this phase and I oh just stay tuned I think I'm gonna literally go order some more cosplays because spider-man I just I can't handle it um but yeah so stay tuned for that. And as always, go ahead and check out all of my social media accounts is at Monorail Princess. I will put it down below like I did in the last video. But yes, guys, it's coming. December cannot come soon enough. 
115 days. 115 days. But just remember, go out and see see Shane. Sh mm, I can't talk. Shane Chi. Please go support that film as well. They deserve all the love just as much as Spider-Man does. So please, please go watch that. And of course we have the Eternals coming up too. So oh, it's a good time to be a Marvel fan as I have said multiple times, but thanks for watching guys. And I cannot wait to talk to you tomorrow about tomorrow's 1th episode. Catch you then.